hospitality sector is the third pillar of the economy of Mauritius after the manufacturing and agricultural sector. The tourism sector contributes significantly to economic growth of the island and has been the key factor in the overall development of Mauritius. The École Hôtelière Sir Gaëtan Duval, formerly known as the Hotel School of Mauritius, was founded in 1971 as a joint venture between the United Nations Development Programme, International Labour Organization and the French government to train employees of the hotel and tourism industry. Good evening, Kamaraj Nusib. Since uh, the creation of your school, how many students has it uh, formed till now? Uh, you know, since our humble beginning since the 70s and when we moved here in 1996 in Eben, uh, up to now we have trained more than uh, 35,000 people uh, in uh, so various modes. We have full-time courses, we have part-time courses, we have tailor-made courses also. And actually every year we train more than 2,000 people. The tourism and hospitality sector is one of the pillars of the economy. How far does your school has uh, contributed in this sector? You know, Mauritius as a tourist destination is known worldwide for the high level of service uh, in the hotels. And our school being the biggest training provider in the sector, uh, we have largely contributed to the uh, level of service in the hotels and the companies have benefited uh, a lot. Since we moved here in Eben, our school has known a tremendous uh, transformation. Uh, now we provide uh, 25 award courses to students in all the various fields as compared to only free, the good old days. So we do basic operational training in all fields of, in all trades in tourism and hospitality. For example, for the hotel trades, we have the front office, we have housekeeping, we have pastry, we have food production, we have laundry, we have bakery, butchery, even leisure and entertainment. So we have basic operational courses at uh, national certificate level three. Then we have also supervisory courses in the same fields at national certificate level four. And we also offer diploma courses for HSC holders. Uh, these are the various full-time courses, but we also have a large array of part-time and tailor-made courses for hotel employees, even uh, for private and public companies, or even for public at large. So we have a very large array of uh, part-time and full-time courses, be it award or non-award courses. So why have you chosen École Hôtelière uh, Gaëtan Duval and uh, you're studying which course here? I've chosen to be here because it is a French qualification accredited by the University of Angers based in France and I'm currently um, studying a diploma in tourism management which is a course of two years and the reasons why I'm here is firstly because the course is affordable also, the career prospects are very high and the school is well known and we get a lot of practical training um, in areas such as Amadeus and uh, tool guiding. Um, I'm studying a high national diploma, HND, in uh, person studies in hospitality management. Why I choose this school? Because it is very, uh, it's a price affordable for everyone. So anyone could just pretend for a course here, uh, here after finishing their um, HSC or NC3 or NC4. And we have good quality of education here. We have uh, good experience due to practical classes that we have and ongoing uh, on-field on experience too. And the great thing that uh, this course gave is that we have an international recognition certificate, which is delivered by the UK, by Pearson Studies. And we have a lot of career prospect after finishing our, our diplomas. So we can go finishing a top-up degree or entering in, in the society management industry. So it's very good. 
what are the uh, specialties, uh, the, the special courses? Uh, why should they study here? Okay, first of all, our courses are recognized worldwide. We have all our courses approved by the local qualification authority, which is the MQA. And the courses or the course curricula are designed according to industry needs. And uh, this is the first advantage, the uh, worldwide recognition. And secondly, here the, we, we are part of the MITD, which is itself under the aegis of the Ministry of Education and Human Resources. So we are uh, greatly uh, as if uh, the government gave us a grant and we charge very low fees for the courses. For some courses, there are no fees charged. So this is the main reason why many students uh, come to our school. On the other hand, we also conduct a lot of uh, awareness uh, sessions for students, be it in secondary schools or during open days and in career fairs. And we motivate them by explaining them all the various job possibilities in the sector and also how they can climb the ladder in the organizations, which for people who are motivated, they can easily climb the ladder and attain middle management positions. Does your school offer the possibility of trainings in restaurants or hotels? Uh, in fact, you know, we have a, a very close collaboration with industry. And this is a major reason for the success of our school. So apart from placement and apprenticeships, uh, our collaboration is, uh, englobes uh, many other activities. For example, uh, we have uh, in the design of the course curricula, we have recourse to professionals from industry for the input. When we recruit trainees, we, in the jury panels, we have people from industry for the selection of students here. And even for exams, uh, for practical exams, for all the juries for practical exams, it is composed only of people who have experience in working in the industry. Uh, on the other hand, we also have a school management committee here, which is composed mainly of HR professionals from the hotel and tourism sector. For regarding training and placements, I can tell you actually we are having more than 800 apprentices in the different hotels in the island, and uh, normally they do five days in the hotel, one day at school. And next year, we are going to increase this capacity to 1,500. So actually, we are going to expand even our facilities, uh, talk later, and we are going to recruit more students uh, for the coming years. How does uh, the Ecole Hôtelière Sir Gaëtan Duval has helped you in uh, paving your career? And uh, today you are working in uh, the Address uh, Boutique Hotel. So briefly explain to us how uh, this school has contributed in uh, making your career. So uh, I was at the hotel school uh, Sir Gaëtan Duval. I started a certificate in tourism, uh, tour guiding mainly. Then uh, it was one year course. After the first year, uh, I applied for a second course, a diploma in tourism management, and uh, which, uh, which was two years course, and uh, which bring me to uh, a top-up degree with the University of Mauritius. Uh, in partnership with uh, Ecole Atelier, still. Uh, in total, I did five years at the, uh, Ecole Atelier Sagaton Juval, and I started in the hotel industry since uh, 2010. Uh, the difference how Ecole Atelier has helped me personally is uh, in terms of training compared to other institutions, uh, you have the practical side of, of, of uh, the hotel industry or tourism industry. Uh, that's uh, the, the plus of Ecole Atelier. Once you have uh, all the theoretical side and uh, you have different work placement during the whole scholarship, that, what makes the difference? Because you are trained to be in the industry. As soon as you finish your course, uh, you are ready to work. So you just, uh, it's very easy to, to be in the uh, work sector. How do you see your contribution in uh, the tourism industry in the future? Uh, got a, a, I'll say, not a typical pathway in the tourism industry because uh, in the hospitality industry, I mean, 
because all what I have been studying is mainly the tourism side, uh, tourism environment, tourism management, and uh, now I'm in, in hotel. Uh, my contribution, for instance, uh, it's very dynamic in, in terms of hot, in hotels. Uh, now I'm responsible for the rooms department in, in the Adwest Boutique Hotel. Uh, the next step for me would be uh, being resident manager, why not, and one day uh, general manager. But it's, it comes with, with time and, and experience mainly. How far is the learning of foreign languages important for the tourism industry? Here at the hotel school, at the Ecole Hôtelier sur Gaëtan Duval, we put much emphasis on foreign languages since we have many tourists coming from um, German-speaking countries, Italy, um, from Italy and also um, from China. So here we, um, we teach these three languages, German, Italian and Mandarin. Our full-time um, and uh, part-time uh, students learn uh, especially German and Italian and um, it is very important for them to learn these languages in order to be able to understand the needs of the tourists and also to communicate with them. Okay, so um, in all departments of the hotel industry, or of the hotel, and also uh, in the tourism sector, meaning in um, destination management companies, we need people who can understand uh, the tourists and also give information to the tourists. And um, they have to also to understand the culture of these people as well. So at school, they learn not only the um, languages but also they learn about the culture so that they can give better um, service to uh, these tourists. Since a few years, uh, youngsters are more attracted in working uh, in uh, boat cruises. They want to earn and travel at the same time. How far this uh, tendency has evolved over the past years? You know, today with the qualification in hand, the youth has various possibilities and all doors are open for them worldwide, I, I should say. Uh, there are many Mauritians uh, going to work in cruise lines and year after year this phenomenon is increasing and it is causing uh, much stress on uh, local employment needs. But however, we should see both sides of the coin. Eh? On the other hand, we, we have uh, a Mauritius is benefiting through foreign currency earnings when these people are working outside send their money here. And also, you know, these uh, people, they have contracts in the cruise lines of the maximum seven, eight contracts, perhaps there will be about 30. Then they come back to Mauritius with a lot of experience and which is much needed here. So it will also benefit the hotels here to have people who are coming back with experience to work in the sector here. Could you please uh, explain to us how this school has contributed in uh, the making of your career? Of course, uh, it has been a big contribution of the hotel school in my career. When I started up in 1995, uh, uh, back at the uh, hotel school, which was at Kazan, uh, I started with an NTC3 in front office and housekeeping. Uh, after this, I joined the hotel industry uh, to work as a room boy at the Shandrani Hotel. Uh, over there, I got the opportunity to go to uh, Seychelles, to work as a uh, supervisor at Saint Anne with Beachcomber. Then I came back to Mauritius. I came back again at the hotel school to follow a course in managing housekeeping operations. Then I joined the uh, Hilton Mauritius to work as housekeeping supervisor for over two years, where I was promoted as uh, assistant executive housekeeper. 
during my career at Hilton also, I came back to the hotel school to follow a course in uh, as butler with uh, Mr. Wayne Fitaris, uh, which was a good course which helped me a lot during my career again. Uh, as assistant executive housekeeper, I went uh, to Hilton Doha to do the opening of Hilton Doha. Then I came back again to Hilton Mauritius, uh, after which I joined the Saint Regis, uh, which formed part of the Marriott International to work as assistant executive housekeeper. Uh, I came back again at hotel school to follow a diploma in national uh, management of, of the housekeeping of, uh, in room division specifically. Uh, now I am at uh, Luxury Ocean Vacation uh, as a uh, trainer and quality controller. As you can see, I have had a long uh, career in which I have been back at the hotel school many times. As you can see again, it helped me a lot in my career. Uh, I think if there's any other course, I will be back again to follow uh, any other course which will help me again in my career. Uh, uh, so uh, what can I add again? It has been really a terrific experience with the Hotel School of Mauritius. In which direction do you see your school growing in the future? You know, we are in line with the nine-year schooling. We are currently reviewing all our course curricula and training pathways. Uh, there is uh, many developments coming. Uh, we have just re renovated our training restaurant ground floor, which I've seen. And also, we have a new construction aside, a new building which will house offices, classrooms, one multimedia lab, and also one, one wine lab. Uh, we are also increasing our capacity to take more students and uh, to train more people. So actually, we have a lot of work. We are in the expansion mood. Business Connect, that's it for this edition. You can find this program on our website and also follow us on our Facebook page. I'll see you next week on the same channel at the same time. Have a pleasant evening. Till then, it's a goodbye.